Welcome. This is an Innovations Technology Solutions video and it goes along with the blog post Writing Better Shell Scripts Part 1. In this video I'm going to go through and talk a little bit about um, some of the built-in functionality in Bash to help you debug your uh, shell scripts. This is going to be just a very light overview of um, some of the concepts covered in the post and in the how-to section. Uh, and I'm going to use um, a script called buggyscript.sh as an example. This is just a script that I've added some errors to intentionally uh, to illustrate the points. And I will run this script with uh, bash with the options xu and run buggyscript.sh and what this does is the dash x option executes the script with execution tracing turned on. So as the instructions are executed there's a line of output that comes to your screen to, to tell you what command or what instruction is being executed at the time to help you follow the, the progression of the script. The U option uh, tells Bash to throw an error every time that in a variable that doesn't have a value set is accessed. So if I try and use a variable that has not been set yet that might uh, cause me problems, uh, Bash will warn me ahead of time. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter here. And the first error I get is unexpected end of file. And typically what this means is that there's a, a construct that needs to be closed out that is not like an if statement without a fee, a case statement without an ESAC at the end, or uh, that might be missing the two semicolons inside of the case statement or something like that. So what I'll do is uh, go into Vim and uh, I look down through here and I see an if statement inside of our script and I notice that there's no fee at the end of it. So I suspect that that might be what's causing our, our problem because the if statement's not closed. So I add a fee, I um, save the change and exit and then I run the script again, we get past that unexpected end of file error, uh, but we hit a new error. We get an unbound variable error, which is what this dash u option of bash does for us. And it's telling me that dollar sign one is the bar variable that's unbound, and that's a command line argument variable. Um, that's the built-in variable for the first uh, command line argument and that tells me that I've you know just just slipped my mind to add an argument onto the end here the the script is expecting an argument so I'll add test arg1 and rerun it and we get past that unbound variable error because I added a command line argument uh, but we hit two other errors here and here now the very first line of this output is an execution trace line and you'll notice the plus at the beginning here the plus means that um, is or the plus is the number of subshells that you're in so the more pluses means uh, more subshells that you're nested within if there's no plus at the beginning of the line it's either an error like this or a normal line of output from the script. And this line tells us that we're on the uh, test statement line that is the first, uh, first line of that if statement that we closed. And the error that we're getting uh, gives us a line number, line 8, and it tells us that uh, this command, the square bracket dash z, is not found. And we know that that is part of a statement that was never meant to be a command. Um, and as I start looking at this, I remember that there's supposed to be spaces uh, between the brackets and what they enclose with a test statement. And over here, I don't have one. And so that's why Bash is interpreting that as a command. So I'll go back into Vim and um, come down here and add a space. Between the test bracket and the dash Z. Save and exit. 
and then run the script again. You notice we get rid of the first error here, uh, but we still have the second error. Um, I, I typically, if I can, try and handle one error at a time. Unless the errors are interrelated, then you're kind of forced to handle them both at the same time. But in this case, it's a, a pretty simple progression of errors. So um, here, the second error that's still hanging around is another unbound variable error. But this time, it's a variable that I uh, created and not a command line variable. It's value 1. So I want to come back in here to Vim. And I look down through here, and there's an echo statement here that uses the variable value 1. And you can see up here above, there's nowhere that I've set value 1. Um, so it's uh, just basically a null variable right now, or has a null value. So it doesn't really matter what the, for our purposes, what the, the value of value 1 is, so I'm just going to set value 1 equal to the string 1 and save and exit. And then I want to rerun that script again and we get past the unbound variable error. And now we notice that we're in our while loop, which you might have seen at the bottom of the, the screen. The problem is that it's just running and running and running. You can see the statement, the uh, test statement here that says 0 is less than or equal to 10. Uh, but that's never, we're never reaching the condition where that will actually exit. That we just, you know, it, we're stuck in an infinite loop, is what has happened here. So I'll hit Control C and I want to go back into Vim again scroll down here to the bottom and I've got a loop counter which is num and I'm using num right here uh, in this test statement and, and whenever num reaches uh, or gets to where it's less than or equal to 10 uh, this while loop should exit but it's not now probably most of you watching this video if you have much experience with uh, bash script you can look at this and tell what's wrong uh, but for just for the purpose of the example, I'm going to go ahead and kind of take the long way around. So what we want to do is uh, to help diagnose this is we'll add an echo statement here. And I just want to output the value of num. So that's going to throw the value of num out to the screen uh, each time around the while loop. And we can kind of take a look at, at uh, whether num's incrementing correctly or not, or what num is actually doing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clear the screen to get rid of some of the clutter and rerun that again. Now you'll notice that our echo statement there, the zero, is it's always zero. That's our value of the num variable. That's never being incremented, and so we can see what our problem is, is in this statement here, the the output statement, we could have seen that before, the zero is never being incremented. Okay, so I'll hit control C here and want to go back into Vim and at the bottom of our while loop, actually I'll go ahead and take this echo statement out because we don't need it. Uh, at the bottom of our while loop, I want to add an ar arithmetic expansion statement and uh, what it will do is just add one to the num variable each time around the loop. That's what this does here. And then it, uh, the arithmetic expansion takes care of the, the math there, and then that value is set back to num. So now, if we save and exit, run the script, you notice that this value here is incrementing each time. And uh, we don't need our echo statement because that right there is, is telling us what we need to know. Um, and then we get less than or equal to 10. The statement doesn't, in this condition here, 11 is not less than or equal to 10, so the while loop exits. And with that, we have all our errors taken care of. 
Now, as I said, this is a really uh, brief general overview, uh, kind of what's in the first part of the how-to section. There's a lot more information in the blog post. There's a lot of information in the, the links in the resources section. Uh, there's the audio transcript if you don't have time to read um, the blog post straight through yourself. Um, there's uh, plenty of resources there and uh, I encourage you to take a look at them. Uh, leave a comment in the comments section or uh, send an email if you have any questions or, or just something to add or something to say. So we, I'd uh, uh, love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.